Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous video, we have seen about the change detection strategy on push and the disadvantages of using the empire to programming we have seen. Why? Because so we cannot implement the change detection strategy on push in the empire to programming. Now, I will try to show in this video another disadvantage that what happens if we do not unsubscribe to an observable in the empire to programming. Why? Because for every observable, we know that I have, we have discussed that for any, any observable or anything, if you subscribe to an observable means we need to must and should we need to unsubscribe to an observable, right? I will show you if you do not unsubscribe to an observable, what is the disadvantage you will face it? What is the problem you will face it? I will show you. And in some articles, you will be able to learn, uh, read that, that when you subscribe to an observable that is generated by an HTTP client, there is no need to subscribe, so you will be able to uh, read in some articles, right? So why why they will be telling is the HTTP client will take care of that one. So when it emits the data, it will automatically complete. They will be trying to say yes, that one is correct. So whenever you are getting an observable that is generated by the HTTP client, it will wait until the data is emitted. So after emit data is emitted, it will call the complete, so that the observable will be destroyed. So up to here, it is correct only fine. But there is one disadvantage in this observable, uh, in, in a not, unsubscri not, subscribe, not unsubscribing to the HTTP observable. So I will show you the disadvantage. First, we will need to learn about the subscribe thing, okay, how the subscribing thing observable will work. Now, if you try to see, I will create an observable. Before creating an observable, what we are having here, we are calling the post, right? So here we are calling the post. Let us try to create a cop page something like home page we will try to see so for example ng ng gc pages slash home i am creating a home component now in the app routing dot module dot ts let us go to this app routing dot module dot ts in this path we are having this one right so i will create another one in a such a way that Path if it is there means post is there means so let's try to remove this one path post is there means then we need to load the component post component instead of this home so instead of directly loading that uh, post component in the home page so let's try to add it a separate URL so here it is created now let's go into this one and here I will try to add the home component okay so here I have added this home component, home component. Let's try to see why this one is not for sharing. Yeah, let's try to see this one. Yeah, here if we try to come again, home component. Why, why it's not coming? Home component. Let's try to write it here. And here I will paste it. So here it is in home. Okay. So let's try to remove this one all. Yeah, I have removed this one all. And here in this one, home slash home component. And here we need to import home component. Yeah. Now let's go to the header component.html. In this header component.html, I will try to create another URL so that this home will go to here and the post. So we will be having the post page and this post page will go to the post. This is the change what I am trying to do. Now let us try to refresh this page. So if it refreshes, let us try to see the output here. Now again it will try to refresh. Now it has refreshed. So here if you try to see, we are having two pages that is home and the, when you click on the post, we are able to see the post page. Nothing what we have did is we have created a separate dedicated post page so that we will be showing that post data in the post page and we are having a home, home page. Now if you try to see here, now this is the thing we have did right now let's try to see the observable functionality now if i have here let's say in the get post i am having an interval okay so we already know that interval will generate the value from zero starting from zero for every particular period of time so we will be giving that period of time so here i want to generate the value for each for every one second and i am subscribing to this one as we are using the rxjs7 so we need to provide this subscribe as an object only. Now you will be having three things. First one is the next. 
so data so here we will be using console.log of data okay console.log of data and if you find any error so if you have any error you will be having another property that is an error so this will be in invoked when any error occurs in the observable and this is a console.log error and another one is the last one is the complete so when this observable is completed so this one will fire okay so i am doing console.log console.log i am using complete interval okay so this is the observable so notation so subscribing so in the same scenario i will try to change this one to like that only now here you will be having something like object and you will have next so one method so that next you will be having like this and error so we can copy these two things directly and these are the two things right so i can copy this one directly and i will paste it here now here i will do complete http call i will do like this that's it so we have added two observables interval which is which will emit the value from 0 to something like that one going going on for every one second it will generate the value and this is the http call now if you try to see here we are having this post data right if you try to see the console now we are able we are generating the complete http call so http call has been completed but this interval is going on emitting the data now for some reason i went to another page something like home page but still this interval is going on running see so but it's still this interval executing now if i come to post page again and again another interval has been started so 0 1 2 so new observable has been started and it is emitting the data and if i go to home page again so this one is still running two intervals are running again if i go to the post page again third interval will run 0 1 2 3 like this so now totally interval whenever you are going to the post page a new interval is being creating every time and it is trying to generate the data now what i can do here in order to overcome that one so interval subscription okay i am using another variable something like of type subscription so i am using of type subscription so let's take this subscription and here what i will try to do is so here i can use this in a such a way that this dot interval subscription is equal to i can assign it to this one and if i go here down i can paste it this one and i can do it do it this one and i can do it just like this also sorry yeah here i can have this subscription and i can do like this also fine right so i am unsubscribing to the internet interval subscription also now if you try to see here if i try to refresh it now 0 1 2 3 it is going on executing if i go to the home page on ng on destroy so this one will be destroyed okay sorry so still it is running so let's try to refresh it this one why interval to subscription we have added this interval subscription also and we are unsubscribing also let's try to refresh it and let's try to check again so maybe my system is slow exe compiling the angler so here 0 1 2 3 it is execute going on executing right now if i go to the home page so suddenly it stops so now, now it, the interval stopped sending the values now if i go to the post page again a new interval will be started starting from the 0 1 2 3 so that means we are restricting the interval so whenever we are going out of this component page we are stopping that interval to stop working so this is the way how the unsubscribe will work now how come this one is related to the post so http call so why because this interval is an indefinite thing sending all the time value so you are unsubscribing so okay fine but why this http is completing at the first only right so then what is the reason going to the home page you can say for example here <clears throat> if you try to see here now if i go to the post page we are calling the posts and the categories to get the data right now for example let's see that i am in the home page okay so i am calling not calling anything i went to the post and immediately i went to the home page again so now it is immediately it has been cancelled why it has cancelled so before getting the data before getting the post data itself i went i went back to another page something like home page so that is the reason so there is no need for us to get the post data calling that api to the server there is no need so that is the reason it has been cancelled but for for example if i am not unsubscribing to an http call so then what will happen let's try to see so if you do not unsubscribe to an http call now if you try to see i went to the post page and i immediately came back so now it is refreshing so one second now i went to the post page so see now you observe i went to the post page and immediately i went back but
but still here see posts and the category both are running and both are running and trying to get the data but when it uh, try to get the data and it has seen that that co context has been destroyed so now it is the waste of getting the data from the server so that is the main disadvantage of not unsubscribing to the HTTP call. So that means we need to unsubscribe. It is a best way to unsubscribe to the every observable. So, so that it will be benefited whenever you go from immediately change the pages, it will be very useful. For example, see now I am in the home page, right? I went to the post and immediately I went back. So this one is coming. Right? So let it refresh as the system is slow. So it is compiling late. Now, if you try to see here, I am in the home page. I went to the post page immediately. I went back to the, I went back to the home page. So see here at the time, by the time we are moving post, we got the data, but categories is not called. Why? Because it has been unsubscribed. So that is the reason categories is not called. For example, if I call like this and if I do see the post is not called immediately it got cancelled. So this is the benefit of the unsubscribing to the post call. So that is the reason for every observable, whether it is an HTTP call or whether it is an observable or anything. So the best practice is to unsubscribe. So this is the process what I want to explain you. So by, with the imperative programming, so you need to write manually each unsubscription of the observable. So that is the main concept you need to remember. So by wherever you are subscribing to any observable means it is your responsibility to unsubscribe to the, the toilet observable. Some people, some in the article, you will be able to see that you will be able to see they will be creating one subject and uh, they will be having uh, they will be creating one subject in the ng, ng on destroy they will be emitting that one value so that they will be using the pipe operator take until so uh, up to there you they, they, you will be able to see that uh, uh, concept so that is also very fine so but somehow you are using some mechanism to unsubscribe to the observables right so that is the thing i want to explain you hope you understood about the disadvantages of not unsubscribing to the HTTP observable or any observable so hope you understood about the concepts if you have any doubts or any suggestions Please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.